A tribute for Matthew Perry at tonight's BAFTA TV Awards moved fans to tears after they raged over his snub earlier this year. Matthew Perry made the list of stars being remembered during tonight's In Memoriam section at the BAFTA Awards. The ceremony took on a somber mood amid the night's celebrations to remember television industry legends who had tragically died over the last year. Benjamin Zephaniah, Richard Franklin, Dave Myers and Matthew Perry were all commemorated in the emotional moment with photographs of the stars being shown to audiences both at London's Royal Festival Hall and at home. However, adding an extra special touch for the Hollywood star, an acoustic piano rendition of the Friends theme tune accompanied the somber moment. For Matthew's moment, the awards ceremony highlighted one clip from Friends showing the actor in character as Chandler Bing hilariously mocking David Schwimmer's Ross Geller character and sharing a tender hug with Matt LeBlanc's Joey Tribbiani. On X, fans reacted to the live tributes with one saying they were King sobbing at the last Matthew Perry clip thanks BAFTA. A second added. That Matthew Perry moment had me in tears rip Matthew we miss you. As another agreed. Wasn't crying until Matthew Perry. Another poignantly wrote. Weeping again at the loss of Matthew Perry absolutely irreplaceable. There could never be a more perfect Chandler Bing. Many fans were placated now as they previously raged against the BAFTAs when the 54-year-old was snubbed from the in-memoriam section at the BAFTA Film Awards. While Matthew was most well-known for his iconic role as Chandler Bing in the legendary sitcom Friends, he also had a slew of blockbuster roles on the big screen like Fool's Rush In and Seventeen Again. Other stars like Sir Michael Parkinson, Bernard Hill and newsreader George Alagaya were also mentioned during the tributes. Matthew died at his Los Angeles home last October, nearly one year after releasing his bombshell memoir that delved into his life in the Hollywood spotlight as well as his turbulent addiction and sobriety battles. He was found unresponsive in the hot tub at his residence just hours after playing pickleball with some pals and the LA coroner's office later revealed the 54-year-old had died due to the acute effects of ketamine.